I'm throbbingly thrilled to be here with you today. My name's Cleo Rocos and I'm the creator and brand owner of Aquariva Tequila. Like most people, um, I hated what I thought and what I had been told was tequila. And it was in my university days and I had had several shots of this stuff which I thought I was on a bobsleigh to hell and I was never ever going to drink the stuff again. Well, many years later, I was in Mexico filming a program and I was staying at this little hotel, a small little, lovely little boutique hotel. And I was having a swim um, and sitting around the pool was this fabulous lady. She was in her mid sixties and she was on the phone and drawing sketches and um, on the computer laughing and drinking from these long thin fluted glasses. She was in resort wear and it was all wafting in the wind and she was having the best time ever. And um, I saw her drink about six or seven of these glasses and I asked um, the waiter what that lady was drinking and he said she was drinking tequila. And I said, there's no way, she can't possibly be drinking six or seven of those because on my previous experience of tequila, she would have been properly dead by now. So I asked the waiter if he could bring me what she was drinking. And that is the first time that I was properly introduced to 100% agave, a real tequila. And from that moment on, I, I just fell in love with tequila. I, I, something happened to me and, and I had to learn everything I could um, about tequila. I just fell in love without, without realizing it. Well, I wasn't expecting it. I, I, up until 10 minutes before, I'd hated tequila or what I thought was tequila. So um, I went to learn everything I could about tequila. I went to all the master classes. I met many producers of tequila. I, I studied, I, did, I then knew enough about tequila and the agave plant and uh, how to make great tequila that I then did master classes of my own. And um, in 2009, um, I was awarded a throbbingly huge award from the tequila industry and I had to go to Guadalajara uh, to pick up my award and um, I there it was in 2009 that I first met um, a lot of producers which I got talking to and I decided that I wanted to bring a tequila that I could not find to the market and that was a really good high quality, premium, superb, fabulous tequila that was smooth with no burn and should really cost hundreds of pounds a bottle, but I wanted to make it affordable to everyone. So I went out to create Aquariva, my fabulous tequila. And I spent 11 months with a master blender in Mexico creating Aquariva. All that is in my tequila is the agave plant. So 100% agave, no additives, no colorings, nothing. Just the agave plant and volcanic spring water. And that's it. Um, so I started to um, bring my tequila to the UK. And I also have my Reposado, which is the same as the Blanco, only it's aged for six months in American oak single cask whiskey barrels. And uh, I started to enter it in competitions and suddenly it started to win so many medals and gold medals and master's medals and all sorts of medals. And at first I wanted to put all the medals on the um, bottle, but then it started to look a bit like a sort of, um, I don't know, sort of Middle Eastern dictator. So, <laughs> so I decided I, I wouldn't, it was more cool not to put any of the, um, of, of the um, medals on the bottles, but it's a hugely highly awarded um, tequila. Um, it's, it's a Highlands tequila, so it's extremely smooth. My tequila, I spent a long time making it so it's smooth. Highlands tequila is always a little bit more floral and the Lowlands tequilas are always more vegetal. So my, my tequila is just fantastic. And I am so excited that I could bring it to uh, everyone who wants to enjoy a great tequila. Primarily, I would see fabulous bartenders working behind the bars, really skilled bartenders who are given really inferior tequilas to work with. And I just thought that was awful because bartenders are my heroes. And um, I wanted bartenders to be able to have a tequila that was affordable and they were really proud of. So now, um, 
Aqua Riva is house poor in many, many fabulous places, including it's the fourth year in TGI Fridays. We've been house poor there and it got that listing because it won through all the blind judgings with all the bartenders in TGI Fridays. So it's quality, quality first. Um, a little bit about the label. Well, I met a 17 year old art student on the tube and this is him. His name is Jamie and uh, he was really cool and I gave him my card and I said you know let me have a look at your work because I know a lot of people in the art industry and I'm always trying to help people to you know put connections together and he sent me his work and when it came time to do my label for my um, tequila brand I didn't have huge amounts of cash or anything so I commissioned him because I loved his work and that's him that's Jamie dancing on the wing of an aeroplane with his then girlfriend <laughs> um, um, Ella so um, that it had to feel like your first day of holiday I don't want my tequila to look like some grumpy old man in a brown bottle my tequila when you drink it you feel like you're on your first day of holiday it just makes you so want to cartwheel um anyway i hope you enjoy every drop i can't thank you enough for your time i'm really excited to be working with you you have my phone number if you need it um, and just call me from anywhere if you have any questions or anyone who wants to ask any questions i'm here on the team with you so all my love from me and let's go and rinse it big kisses